rite of contemplation, of reflection, that we reflect upon the meaning of the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Qur'an, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمْ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا Will these people not reflect upon the Qur'an? Or are their hearts locked up? Meaning, what is wrong with them if they do not reflect upon the Qur'an? Hassan al-Basri said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Qur'an so that it is reflected upon. But people have taken its recitation as its action. Meaning they think that if they just recite it, they're doing enough. The recitation of the Qur'an is excellent. But a person can only truly benefit from the Qur'an when they reflect upon it, when they understand its meaning. And there's two steps of reflection of tadabbur. The first step is that a person studies the meaning. What is that, 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 what is this ayah even saying? What is the message of this verse? What does this verse mean? And the second step of tadabbur is that a person relates that verse with their personal life with their personal situation. When you look at yourself in the light of that verse, looking at yourself, analyzing yourself, that what do I need to change within myself? What is it that I need to do? What is it that I need to leave? We need to reflect upon the Quran also.